Welcome to part 3, the last part of the series. In part 1, you learned sequence to sequence and encoder decoder architectures overview, which is used by BERT. And in part 2, you learned the attention basics, multi head attention, and the BERT architecture. Now the BERT is dissected. Let me tell you something which was not covered into the architecture. What is called a pre training. Google has uh, trained the model, uh, which was very expensive, and released some vectors for the public use. You, what you can do is you can use those vectors and fine tune, do a fine tune training of the model as per your domain. Suppose you are into uh, medical domain, you can pick up your own medical text and do a fine tuning of the BERT model where the base is the already pre-trained model and then you use cases. So the BERT will able to give a better accuracy, better results on your domain data. But even though even if you don't use your uh, domain data still the results are very impressive this slide shows uh, various uh, different other architectures which are based on the uh, this pre-training uh, concept you can see there are uh, open ai gpt and elmo has been mentioned in open ai gpt you can see uh, the arrows the arrows of the uh, arrows are on the top and on the right and in part you can see the arrows are on top right as well as left and same way similar thing is in El elmo uh, arrows are going on to the top and from the top it is going to the right direction now this is a different architectural concept what i want to show you here is the bird can actually look into the all directions where are the uh, other architecture like open a jupiter elmo are not uh, looking into both directions at once so BERT is able to do a better prediction i've talked about the mass language model when i was discussing about the transform architecture now what you can do you can see here before when a word is fed to the BERT the 15 percent yes 15 percent they have used 15 percent of the words in each sequence or each uh, uh, sentences are replaced with the mass token mask actually they are replaced with a blank and that blank is replaced with this hard-coded string uh, so that BERT can understand this is a mass token it has to guess it the model then uh, tries to predict what actually exist what, what what was there instead of that mask and uh, what it how it, it does is it reads the previous context whatever is still now and tries to guess it and technical term the prediction of the output word requires your token embedding sentence embedding and transformer positional embedding the uh, token embedding or the tokens are the words which are present into the sentence Based on every word, uh, embedding is generated. This is called token embedding. So this is a simple uh, string, uh, simple breaking of the sentence in the words, and these are called the tokens. The second thing is sentence embedding. Sentence embedding means uh, you generate that embedding for the complete sentence so that a correlation between those embeddings can be found by the model. And third word is the positional embedding. Why position? And this is the, actually the numbers uh, of numbering of every token why it is required because model is reading from the board direction it may not know which word was there right it so it needs a tracker so that tracker is done using this positional encoding all of these tokens are generated by code somebody has written the code which generate all this token so if you go to the code location that i've shared earlier as well in the reference slide you can see a code is actually generating these kind of uh, sentence embedding you will find those into the code not in the modeling.py the, but the other file in this slide uh, uh, the various releases of the bert are shown uh, two important uh, type of model basically are bert base and bert large then it's a cased uncased so what we are going to talk about is bert base and bert large this is these are the type of models that have been used uncased means whether the text is uncased or text is case casing uncasing right uh, so in bird base they have used 12 hidden layers and 12 multi head attention layers and uh, in case of but uncased they have used 24 hidden layers and uh, 16 attention heads uh, these parameters are calculated based on all this uh, numbers and this is just a uh, snapshot i have taken a snapshot of the actual released github page and paste it here you can find it on the google released github page itself we want to show here it is not like a traditional model uh, like rnn 
uh, it uses 12 or 24 layers to, for starting you can use the 12 layer version because it is easier on the resources i'm saying it is comparatively easier on the resources still it takes a lot of space and lot of uh, computation and memory this slide try to show how different attention layers correlate the query words with the token words one side there is a query words and one other side is a token word and uh, the snippets are taken from different different layers how they are getting generated for example in the first one you can see how uh, the word making is getting uh, associated towards uh, more and difficult so making more making difficult this kind of sentence is trying to correlate so that is that is a one layer of attention trying to do and in the other picture the other attention layer is trying to focus on something else for example this one uh, it's law it's appreciation this other layer is trying to focus on the other so there are multiple attention layers and they are trying to focus on different different part of the text that is why the BART model becomes very much intelligent there is a code which is available into the internet which can help you visualizing this attention although it is not 100 percent perfect and 100 percent accurate but you can just find it and get more familiar with how BART is uh, doing if you want to get more into it and i hope you enjoyed or have grabbed any of the parts of BART let me quickly show you how you can actually run it uh, for running it it is very much straightforward you have to actually go to this link and uh, you have to do some pip install something the installation step they have mentioned uh, you may face some problem uh, due to tensorflow compatibility with windows and all um, i've used a unix machine which was uh, there it was very much straightforward i've used the tensorflow as well as the pytorch version pytorch version was comparatively easier and but after the installation you can download the bart base uncased vector the link is given into the to the github page itself and after that uh, what you can do is you can go to this section you can just follow the steps and you have to run this command if you do, if you if you use do train then you have to supply a training file and it will generate new vectors uh, based on the training if you just want to do the prediction don't use do train it will just do the evaluation and give you the result after it is over done it will give you the accuracy score but it also generates uh, nb prediction and best prediction and prediction json into the output directory you can go there and refer it the, they have not written this clearly into their github page but these are the output files if you have liked the information then don't forget to hit a like button but before i close this let me show you these references i will put these references into the note section as well and uh, before closing it as usual i will do a noble request to you guys uh, if you think you have gained anything today then as a return please do a good thing for you for your kids for yourself for your environment we all are suffering from climate change these days everywhere you have might have observed the temperature of our cities increasing year on year on our individual part i request you to please don't keep your air condition systems running in your house or in offices when they are not in use please please shut them off whenever they are not being used please save electricity as soon as possible not just for your own pocket but this is for environment and for your kids future as well with that thanks for watching stay tuned